Non-destructive testing, or NDT, is a testing method used to evaluate the quality, integrity, and compliance of a material, component, or system without causing damage. In many areas of modern life, effective, visible testing is fundamental to safety and success. Penetrant testing is used for the inspection of various non-porous components, mostly metallic. The Shemital Penetrant Testing brand Ardrox is trusted for areas where strict compliance with regulations during manufacture and overhaul is non-negotiable. With a range of products, for penetrant testing provides an easy-to-use method of visual inspection to highlight defects that are open to the surface. Penetrant testing works due to the principle of capillary action. It is the ability of liquid to flow into narrow spaces without the assistance of or in opposition to gravity. Shemital's penetrants work with visible light or UVA light. The testing steps are almost identical. The products used and inspection methods are slightly different. The safety data sheet, which provides detailed instructions for proper personal protective equipment and environmental protection, must be consulted for each product in this video prior to use. First, the part must be thoroughly pre-cleaned. Water-based or solvent-based cleaners may be used. There must not be any contaminants in the defects, or they will not be detected. The next step is to thoroughly dry the part using a lint-free cloth. The part must be completely dried, with no water or solvent mistakenly left in the defect, or the defect will not be detected. Then the penetrant is applied by brush, dip, or spray, either from a conventional or electrostatic spray gun, or from a ready-to-use aerosol can. Cover the area of interest and ensure the penetrant wets the surface completely. Next, there is a period referred to as the dwell, to allow for the penetrant to flow into the possible defect. Process times and other parameters, such as temperature and pressure, should be according to specifications. When the dwell time is complete, the excess penetrant is gently removed with water or solvent. For the solvent removal method, begin with a dry, clean, lint-free cloth to wipe off the bulk of the excess penetrant. Then the solvent is sprayed on the cloth, never directly on the part, and the surface is gently wiped. Regardless of method, be careful not to overwash the part, as this may remove the penetrant from the defect. If you are using the fluorescent penetrant testing method, gently remove the excess penetrant under a UVA light to visually assist your progress. The part is dried with a cloth, compressed air, or in a drying oven. Pressure and temperature are regulated by specifications to ensure a reliable process. The developer is now applied to the dry parts by puffing, dipping, or spraying from either a conventional or electrostatic gun, or from ready-to-use aerosol cans. In the case of the color contrast visible penetrant technique, the layer of developer must be thick enough to provide a white background surface to aid flaw visualization. The developer is given time to dwell, according to specifications. Now the part is ready for inspection under white light and any defects are revealed. Follow the specifications for light intensity. Once the inspection is complete, the developer and penetrant may be removed from the part using water, solvent remover, or any of the other technologies available from Shemital. If the fluorescent penetrant testing method is used, the layer of the developer should be as thin as possible to allow for the maximum detectability of the defect. The part must be inspected under UVA light. Please follow specifications for light intensity. Shemital's NDT products meet all global specifications. Shemital's global experts are locally available, in person, ready to offer technical assistance. Expect more with Shemital. Results you can rely on. Shemital. Expect more.